there's a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I begged and pleaded with her day after day, but she packed my suitcase and sent me on my way. She gave me a kiss and then she gave me my ticket. I put my walkman on and said, I might as well kick it. First class, yo, this is bad. Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass. Is this what the people of Bel Air living like? Hmm, this might be all right. I whistled for a cab, and when it came near, the license plate said fresh and it had dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this cab was rare, but I thought, man, forget it. Yo, home to Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I yelled to the cabbie, yo home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air.
granny and I'm five and a half years old. Hmm. Every afternoon I get looked after by my grandpa in his shoe repair shop. And what can we do for you? I always try the shoes on before I put them in the fix-it box. Where will my feet take me today? Where will my feet take me today? Nobody knows for sure. On every adventure, I meet new friends. There's Lily and I sharing a snack. There's me with Gus under the sea. I learn all about new places. I always tell Grandpa all about my adventures. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? driven by Peter Perfect. Next, Rufus, Roughcut, and Sawtooth in the buzz wagon. Maneuvering for position is the Army Surplus Special. Right behind is the Ant Hill Mob in their bulletproof bomb. And there's ingenious inventor, Pat Pending in his converter car. Oh, and here's the lovely Penelope pit stop, the glamour gal of the gas pedal. Next, we have the Boulder Mobile with the Slag Brothers, Rock and Gravel. Lurching along is the creepy coop with the gruesome twosome. And right on their tail is the Red Max. 
And there's the Arkansas Chugabug with Luke and Blubber Bear. Sneaking along last is that mean machine with those double-dealing do-batters, Nick Dastardly and his sidekick, Buckley. And even now, they're up to some dirty trick, and they're off to a standing start. And why not? They've been chained to a post by Shifty Dick Dastardly, who shifts into the wrong gear. And away they go on the way out wacky races. <laughs> Home for many centuries to a dreadful dynasty of vicious vampire ducks, the Counts of Ducula. Legend has it that these foul beings can be destroyed by a stake through the heart or exposure to sunlight. This does not suffice, however, for they may be brought back to life by means of a secret rite that can be performed once a century when the moon is in the eighth Bad house of Aquarius. Blood. Are you getting... The latest reincarnation did not run according to plan.